Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And it is a fabulous Friday. And we're I'm starting a brand new project today. Um, I am doing a swap with one of my Facebook groups. I don't know who I will be swapping with at this point, but the requirements for this swap are a little bit different from what I normally do. So I'm really kind of excited about this because it's gonna really make me stretch as to some of my skills. It is a, um, the first thing that's gonna be different is the cover itself. The cover has to be, uh, this is a one signature wallpaper cover journal. And I have this wallpaper that uh, a friend of mine gave me. It also has to be a nature theme. And I thought this is perfect. I love this paper. And so this is gonna be my cover. It has to be a, a hard cover, like a cereal box cover, but it only has one signature, so it doesn't have to be, it's not going to be real thick, and I think that this is going to work really well over that cardboard. So that's my, that's my cover. For my signature, it also has, it's a larger signature than I'm used to. I usually do 10 pages in a signature, 10 sheets of paper, uh, 10 of these. Um, to, to make a 40-page uh, signature. This has to be a 60-page signature, so there's 15 of these, which means it's thicker than I'm used to, and it will be covered, or will be held together with a pamphlet stitch, the three-hole pamphlet stitch, uh, which if you are a longtime member of my channel, you know you will not see me do that on camera because there are a whole lot of better tutorials out there, and oh my glory, it takes me forever to do the three-hole pamphlet stitch, and I feel like such a klutz. So what I've done is I've gathered my 15 pages and I figured I'd show those to you and then I have some things that we're gonna start deciding what goes in here. So I have a couple of, um, this was a 12 by 12, but I, the color matched it pretty well and I don't know if that's gonna be the inside cover as well as the outside cover or not yet. I haven't made that decision, but I have that. I have this. This came from a Tim Holtz pack. Hang on, I'm picking it up. I dropped it on the floor. Um, this was Backdrops from Halloween 2023. And it was on sale at Joanne's at the end of the season. They were doing like buy one, get 50% off. And I'll tell you, anytime you can get Tim Holtz papers on sale, that's a good thing. I don't generally buy Tim Holtz papers because they're too expensive. But... I got them. So I thought, okay, I liked this because it looked kind of like a um, wallpaper and I'm going with the wallpaper nature theme throughout the whole thing. Uh, just a piece of coffee dyed paper. And then this was a piece that I put together a while back and I'm, I'll take it out here so you can see the whole thing. It's just a piece of ledger paper that had been, uh, I don't know if that was coffee dyed. It looks like it might be onion skin. It's a little bit yellower. And then I flapped two of these pieces of ephemera on it. And I really like how it looks. So that's going to go in there. I might put a thumb hole in there to make that a little bit easier. But that will open up like that. Um, this was another 12 by 12. I don't like, it's the only page I have that is white on the inside. I mean white, white on the inside. And so I think what I'm going to do is stencil something in here, or maybe I'll just, you know, go at it with my uh, archival ink. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to tone that down. Piece of just uh, notebook paper. And then last fall, and I did a video on these, um, I, just making leaf rubbings. And I've got a couple of them left over, and I thought, well, I'll throw that in there. That's nature a piece of grid paper. This is a Franken page that I did a while ago and it's going to need a little bit of work because it's very white. Um, so it'll need a little bit of work on it, but I thought, sure, we'll throw that in there. Another piece of coffee dyed, um, a half of a, I wonder if I like that the other way. I think I want that folded the other way because it's darker on one side than on the other. And I think I like the darker side out. There we go the darker side against the the brown. There we go. I think that's a that's a prettier picture. 
prettier background. Um, and then that's another piece of 12 by 12. This is a really cool piece. This came from a 12 by 12 pack that I bought ages ago. This is called Sophisticated Frost. It's from GCD Studios. I bought it at Big Lots. And it's all of these. It's double-sided. And it's um, wallpaper types. And it has kind of a wallpapery feel. Although it's not as thick as wallpaper. You know, it's, it doesn't it obviously doesn't have the glue on the back of it. Um, so I, put, I got that because I really liked it. And I did a 12 by 12, but I cut it, I left it long so that I could do a, a fold over because I liked how the two go together. I thought that was really neat. Just a piece of coffee dyed. And then in the center, uh, again, another Tim Holtz piece. I liked this again because it had the, it's a floral piece on it, but it has a wallpapery look. And then it just goes back out to the same. That's that Franken page. I don't like how blue that is, so I'll probably cover some of that up. Um, yeah, the, my rubbing, the other half of my flip, and then the other page here. That almost looks like it's upside down. I think it is. I think I want it this way. Yep, there we go. All right, so that's the actual signature. To, to play with, um, I just got this embossing folder from Stampin' Up!, um, I really like it. And so I was playing with it today. I'll probably cut that, uh, because I, I'd had to do it side by side. It's a fairly narrow embossing folder. And so I did the same thing here. I tried to get it to go double, but I don't want it that wide anyway. It's too wide. So I'll probably end up cutting it and using those pieces, but look at the wallpaper. It just, it matches beautifully. So I'll hold it up so you can see, but I don't know, can you see it any better? If I hold it up, I don't have, there we go, get the lighting on it right. It's a very dull day today in the Finger Lakes. It's, in fact, it's pouring out right now. Yes, it's, it's January, but we are in the middle of our January thaw. And so it is very, very wet. Um, I also have this box of things that I got for Christmas. It was on my Amazon list. My sister-in-law bought it for me. Um, it says, hang on, it's Cyan Looked at Wild Dome is the name of the um, box. And it's from Sin Simno. Yeah, it's from Simno. And there are all sorts of things. It's really a bulk, bullet journal. Oh, okay. You know what? You can stay stuck to that for right now. This is the bullet journal that came with it. It's really kind of cool, but I, I don't know that I'll, I will use the bullet journal. We'll see. Uh, maybe eventually. But in the meantime, there are all these to-do lists. And there are um, just little record things. So those will go in. The memos. There are all sorts of these little tag type things that can be used either in collage or just slid into something. But there, I love the colors. The colors all fit. So I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, the forest. All of this fits. And then underneath there are some rub-ons and a bunch of stickers, some stamp stickers, and then all sorts of pages down here that you can use to make things with. And some, come on, I can get them, envelopes. There's some vellum, there's, you know, all sorts of things. So we're going to play with those and that will go in here as well. So let me set that up here because I'm going to use a lot of things out of that. But what I also am going to use is a bunch of these pre-made pieces that I had made a while back. So I have, um, this is a pocket that can go in. It's a little ripped at the top, so it's going to need a little bit of work. And I like that on, I like that for the front. And then I have, what else do I have here? I've got a bunch of stuff. I have an over the pocket type of a thing over the top is this was this one that worked or I have some that worked and some that didn't work at all I think this might be one that didn't work yeah that one didn't work 
this one worked, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I made these a while back and then I don't, couldn't figure out how to. Yeah, it works. So I could put that over the top. I'm not, you may notice in my signature things stick out. I'm not worried about that because, you know, like now that becomes a tab. You know, so I don't know if I like it there or not. Well, we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there for now. And then I have this piece that's going to fold out. I don't think I want to put anything on the inside. I want to leave that for writing. Um, hmm, do I have something that going, can go on the outside? If not, that's okay because I've got a little owl. He's kind of small, kind of cute. Could go down in the corner. I'll put him there for now. Um, hmm. A little tag. This says memories, and it's a little pocket. Something came in this, and I really liked it. And it was, I a lot of the things that I have, I did, I have not necessarily bought. People have bought them for me. Okay, maybe that goes. Oh, you know what? I got an over the top thing. I wanted to do make an over the top. Piece. So maybe I'll put that there. That's got to be decorated up. We'll leave that. Maybe do some stamping on it. We'll leave that. Um, I do want to put something over the top of that. No. What I want to do is put it over the top of this part. I want to cover up some of that. Okay, I think I'm going to put that there for now, and then we'll figure out how to, to deal with it. Hmm. I kind of like that. I think it goes this way. These are just pieces that I have pre-made. So I'm just putting them in now so that I can figure out where I want to put them. I really don't know if I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take that out. I don't know that I like it. I may just abandon that particular piece. I also have, and I, I can put the link down below as to how I made this one. Um, I have a little folder. This one is all butterflies. I may use this one. I may make a different one um, to go into a pocket at some point. So I have that. Um, I also have this to go into a pocket, a tall pocket, so it can slide in this way. Um, so I've got a lot of pieces here. All right. I think what I'm going to do is just say this is an introduction to this particular piece. I might go ahead and, and just add this on it while I'm sitting here. I don't sew my journals in until later. I want to make sure that I don't want to change my mind as to where things go. And um, I think what I'm going to do with this one is go ahead and connect it. Oh, I have made a mess of this. Look at that mess. Yucky, yucky, yucky. And of course, I don't have a glue thing. Now I got glue all over me. Yeah, what else is new, right? Okay, let me grab my glue book. Sorry for the reach. I'm going to set you up there, and we're going to go ahead and glue you down. If there's any glue left in it after that mess. Oh, my glory, that was a lot of mess. And I think what I'm going to do today is take some time and fill this up. Make sure I'm going on the right way. Okay, I want it to go this way. So this is a page, a, a book page. It's a little bit um, more delicate than I like. So that's why I'm going to add a little bit of washi, I think, to it to give it. I added a piece, the map, to give it a little bit more sturdiness in the middle. But I think I want a little bit at the top as well, the top and the bottom. So I have this. I like the gold. 
a little looking at the green do I have anything green in that color I don't most of my green is like fluorescent and I don't want fluorescent green I have to look because I'm pretty sure some washi came with this other thing and it's not in there right now which means it's somewhere else let me just throw a little bit of that up there and a little bit down at the bottom just to kind of give it some stability there so there's a page done and we can I don't have a journal card at this point made that I can slide in there although I can show you like with this it'll just slide in so I can put a pretty big page in there all right page one done I'm not going to do this whole thing right now um, mostly because I'm hungry and it's lunchtime so I'm going to uh, stop my video. I am definitely going to fill that up today. I have another, I've got a great big one and I like the little size of this. So I will do that. And uh, welcome to Fabulous Friday. You never know what you might get on a Fabulous Friday. I'm gonna go ahead and work on my journal when I come back from lunch. In the meantime, stay safe. Please make sure you subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. Uh, oh, heck, subscribe even if you're not. Get those numbers up. What the heck? <laughs> In the meantime, have a great weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.